Hey everybody, Wayne here. Got another unboxing for you guys today. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. Just got it in the mail today. It is a recent release, as most of my unboxings are. Not necessarily all, but most of them are recent releases. This one's from White Dog Games. If I can get this bad boy open. Oh. Ta-da! Dog Sector. All right. What is this one? Let's take a look. All right, what do we got here? So, I bet it's like I'll take off that uh, plastic wrap so you guys can get a better idea of it. But, all right, so Dog Sector, simulation of the June 6, 1944 D Day landing, published by White Dog Games. Not too much glare, is there? A little bit, I guess. Yeah, a little bit. Let me go ahead and take that plastic off so you guys don't have to deal with that. Oh, I hate when there's glare when I'm watching videos. So I try to keep it down, uh, you know, not film it. Oops, get that out of here. There we go. A lot less glare. Looks good now, huh? Dog sector. I like the cover. It's like. It's like water color paint style or something. I don't know, but it looks really cool. Dog Sector is a beer and pretzels level solitaire war game. Simulates the famous World War II Normandy amphibious landings in 1944. American forces from off map transports assault the beach. Those units not swamped during the approach attempt to move up the beach towards German occupied bluffs, clearing obstacles as they advance. Some units, tanks, sharpshooters, bazookas, execute range fire at fortified German units. Naval forward observers guide ship to shore fire support. Players assault force faces German offensive fire, solitaire, system controlled, from machine guns and anti-tank emplacements, panzer, fast, and rifle fire, as well as off-map German artillery. When the bluffs are reached, American units must clear the trenches by assault. Um, the game tension is visceral as your brave Joes are pinned down or hit by the intense German fire. You grit your teeth as a combat engineer team deploys Bangalore torpedoes to clear obstacles while under fire and cheer when a German unit is taken out by a tank or by a ship's guns directed by one of your forward observers. How many sections of German trench will your men be able to clear in the 12 heart-pounding game terms? Will you, in a private, will you be a private or a colonel at the end of the game? Good luck, soldier. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Good at uh, Good description in the back there. That was fun. I like that. Looks kind of cool, too. Well, I mean, I, that's why I bought it. I thought it looked cool. But a little art there. So, Game components, 36 by 20 hex game map on a 34 by 22 inch game board. Which is one piece. Hex map is larger than the game board. Maybe they meant the opposite. Whatever. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. 176 5 8 inch square double sided unit counters and markers, 8 page rule book, German units, American units, and stuff, your game features. All right, one player, 90 minutes, 13 plus. Solitaire game, you know me, love my solo war games. All right, let's open this bad boy up, check it out. Enough talking, enough reading. Let's uh, see what's going on with it. Ooh, put that over there. Map first, on top. I'll look at that in a bit. I'll spread that bad boy out. Here we go. Counters, rule book, player reference card. Ooh, comes with a reference card. I like that. Um, or dice. No dice? I wonder if it's diceless. Maybe. Who knows? Um, right. Let's see. So, dog sector. Reference card. Cardboard. Thin cardboard. Um, you probably want to, I mean, I will put it in like a plastic protector, but I mean, some people aren't as anal about their components as I am. Oh, double-sided. Terrain chart, obstacle removal capability. Sequence of play right on here, American landing units, German fire results, American fire results. Cool. Over here. All right. We got our rule book. Thin, not a large rule book at all. Oh, when they say, yeah, uh, when they say, uh, who, who designed this game anyway? Was it on there? 
I feel I feel foolish. Did it not say on the box who designed this one? I feel usually I'd say, okay, you know, published by White Dog Games, designed by Okay, Michael Kennedy. Yep, he's got he does a lot of Okay, my apologies, uh Michael. My apologies. Um so here, whoop, game design and production, Michael Kennedy. Playtesters, Barry Kendall, I recognize that name from uh, on Board Game Geek. So Art Bennett, oh, does the vassal, box top art, Mike Murfin. That's a cool art I was talking about. Very nice. Okay, I just want to make sure. So Michael Kennedy designed the game itself. Just wanted to make sure I was looking at Mike. Wait a second. Who I didn't talk about who designed it. Okay. Dog sector. Yeah, only uh seven, eight pages here. Beer and pretzel game, they're saying. Um and pretty big font on here too. Nice and uh there's pictures. Describe everything. Set up, sequence of play, examples, pictures. I like the picture examples. I just love that in the game. I know war games do not, sometimes they don't, sometimes they do, but they should. Um, unless your rule book is 40 pages of solid text and you know it would be 100 pages with pictures, please put some pictures in there. You can see units up there, American units on the beach in that picture. It's very cool. Trench fire, solitaire. I mean, there's not that much to it, it looks like. Which is good. I mean, when some beer and pretzels, uh, quick playing game, that's that's my bread and butter, folks. You know that. That's what I love to play. So, no, you're wrong. I like a little more complicated game sometimes, but uh, a lot of times, most of my games I play, I just like to get into. You know, fun gameplay, some history, some chrome, but not too much. Let's look at these counters. They look cool. So, this is normal. Um, this game is White Dog Games um, printed. Kind of like Holland Spiel where they're printed out um, from Blue Panther. And they do it on um, like the wood almost. So thick that it's like, I don't know if it actually is wood or just pressed, but it's uh, very thick. So very thick counters here. Um, good artwork on there. Try to do a little slow. You guys can see. Shift Observer, Infantry, Sharpshooters. Oh, they use tanks. Feel the Shermans there. Is that cool or what? I like, I like the artwork. Bazooka, the Infantry on there. I like that. Machine gun pillbox, obviously, um, I'm going to say, you know, American infantry and then or American units and then German units. Miscellaneous, cleared, cleared, cleared. Let's see their side. What does that say? Oh, oh okay. So I'm guessing and then reduced on looks like a lot of the units here. So I'm guessing, obviously, um, considering this side looks like landing like beaches or something and then says it's cleared I'm gonna assume that those get placed maybe randomly on the board i don't know i haven't even read the rule book on this but sometimes i read it if it's online this one is not online so i just have to pick up the game and my guess is gives yours all right very cool um let me go ahead and pause this get this map spread out and we'll take a look at it all right so i have to be honest um this map is actually really cool looking really cool looking um so i have Yep, you guys should be able to see it all. I have it all spread out here. I did put a uh, plexi down, so it's a paper map. Um, something pretty standard for war games. So I have my old thick plexi. Which I might do a video on sometime, because like the one I have here is really nice now. It's a lot better than that crappy poster stuff. But anyway, on to the game here. So, Dog Sector, simulation of the June 6, 1944 D-Day landing. Um, oh, yep, looks like you guys can see. So right here, there's the ocean tiles. They're just right off camera there. You just can't see them, but it's just basically couple um, hexes of the very edge of the water. So right into the beach here, see some obstacles, look possible mines. Um, I wonder if that's where those those counters, those other counters we're looking at, I wonder if that's where they go. And obviously you can see, it uh, looks like there's, well, there's numbers up here, Iron Cross, German soldiers I assume, defensive works up here, you know, they're shooting at you, you're shooting at them, you're trying to get up through, you got one, two, three areas to get up through. And over here, turn track, sequence of play on the map. Which, so it's on the play rate, it's on the map. Love that they did it in multiple places. Really appreciate that. American landing units, German fire. Which I think you guys can see that, right? Let me go on the other side of the camera. Yeah, you guys can see that over here. Um, German fire, obstacle removal, American fire. It's all on here. I don't know if it's all on here, but there's lots of stuff on here. This side got everything covered. And then a very nice looking map. There's a cool, cool artwork on this one. Very cool. Game art and box bottom art. Jonathan Carnell. Jonathan Carnell. Good job. Looks really nice. Looks like it's going to be fun. I think this one will be a good, like I said, beer and pretzel style. 
It doesn't look overly complicated. I mean, I'm sure with, you know, seven pages rolls, six pages rolls, it, it can't be, but that's okay. I think it looks like it's going to be a good one. Um, I'm excited to give it a try. So that was Dog Sector for White Dog Games. Uh, comment below. Let me know what you think and uh, if I should do a playthrough video of this one. All right, guys. Later.